Legends. Some are fact, some are fiction, and some operate in between within a realm of uncertainty. I guess you could say that they can neither be confirmed nor denied. There's no harm in reading about these legends and letting your imagination roam free. But what happens when your interest in a legend becomes an obsession? An obsession that occupies your every thought, demands all of your spare time, and takes every last cent out of your pocket. At what point does an obsession in a legend become harmful? For over half a century, I've been asking myself that question. From the time I was a young teen, I have searched for the treasure of Jose Gaspar, the pirate better known as Gasparilla. I searched not only for his treasure, but some proof of his existence. To this day, there isn't a shred of evidence to prove that he ever existed, leading many to believe that the tales of his exploits were all myth. He prowled the waters off the southwest coast of Florida and up to Tampa Bay from 1789 to 1821. He and his crew captured over 400 ships and buried treasure along the coast. Just before his last battle, he had the remaining treasure removed from his ship and buried on shore. During this battle, his ship caught fire and instead of surrendering, he wrapped a heavy chain around his waist and jumped from the bow into the deep blue. It is rumored that his last words were, Gasparilla dies by his own hand, not his enemies. John Gomez was rumored to be the last surviving member of Gaspar's crew. And while there are no records confirming Gaspar's existence, there are records documenting Gomez. He lived on Panther Key near Marco Island in the 10,000 Islands region of southwest Florida. Some say he was one of the crew tasked with burying the last of the treasure. I focused my search in this area for the last 50 years and still no evidence or treasure. How many searches are left in this broken body? The years of military service and countless adventures have taken their toll. If Gaspar really existed, perhaps his spirit can have mercy and guide me to some evidence of proof. Mr. Goldman, where did you hide Gaspar's treasure? Better yet, is it still buried? Or was it discovered ages ago? Perhaps it's time I throw in the towel. Declare you the winner in this game. What the hell? What in the world are you? Who are you? Why are you here? What are you trying to tell me? Egg Marquis? Are you trying to tell me the treasures on Egg Marquis? Show me. Show me. I don't believe it. After half a century, I don't believe it. Who are you? Gomez? It doesn't matter. You're an asshole! Where were you 50 years ago? Sorry, sorry, my bad. Tina told me I'd find you here. Why do I get the impression she doesn't like me? Simple. Because she doesn't. What? Why? Have I ever offended her? Of course not, but all those years we served together? Yeah. Well... She thinks you influenced my decision to volunteer for all those deployments. I? 
influenced you? We both know that's not true. I wonder where she got that idea. Yeah. Well, let's keep that between us. I'm too damn old to start all over again. So what's up? You got another lead. Think it's good? I won't begin to explain, but it's so weird I have to check it out. You know, you don't have to do this every time you follow a lead. You can let an attorney handle it. You, I've trusted with my life many times before. So far, no attorney's earned that trust. Think this lead is risky? Need any backup? I think the wrath of Tina has more risk. But, nah, I should be fine. So when are you leaving? In the morning. What's your ETR? Tomorrow, 1900 hours. I'll bring the refreshments. Good hunting, brother. Thanks, brother. So, Tina really blames me for your deployments. Yeah, but let's keep that between us. You know, happy wife. Happy life. And don't forget the refreshments. I'm either desperate or losing my mind. I can't believe I'm chasing this force without some type of confirmation. But if it is a means to an end, well, at this point, I'm all in. The only access to Egmont Key is by boat, which is a plus. However, it's also a tourist attraction and a playground for weekend boaters. Being inconspicuous should not be difficult, but digging for clues or treasure without attracting attention will be almost impossible. As a treasure hunter, you can never be too cautious. If you know about the treasure, others know about it too. Treasure hunters are unpredictable, and they can instantly transition into a pirate. I never underestimate the measures they would take to steal what has been stolen so many times before. There is no honor among pirates.
ambushed by an armored reptile. You scared me, little guy. Go pick on someone your own size. This is the spot. It's an awful big spot. You think you could be a little more precise? Narrow it down a little bit? Oh, gas ball. That's more like it. I don't know what kind of sick game you're playing. Or why you select me. This relationship you and I had is hereby dissolved. No more. I concede. You want to be a myth for eternity? Go ahead. I don't care. I just pray I never hear your name again. Get the hell out of my fight. I've seen that look before. Bad lead, huh? It's complicated. Sorry, brother. Yeah, well, it was somewhat of a reality check. I'm listening. It proved that chasing a legend for over half a century was nothing more than an exercise in futility. After all those years, what do I have to show for all the work? No treasure, no proof of Gaspar's existence, nothing, nada. You're beating yourself up pretty good. Yeah, well, this quest has officially ended. I'm not wasting one more minute searching for Gaspar. Game over. Do you know how many times I've heard all this? It usually lasts until the next lead. Yeah, well, this time I mean it. I've wasted my entire life chasing Gaspar. No more. Here's a newsflash, brother. Your life hasn't been wasted. The treasure was sitting in front of you all the time. This childhood quest of yours has shaped your life. Do you realize how excited you get every time a new lead surfaces? Your life has been one adventure after another. You accept it as normal when there is nothing normal about it. So many people drift through life on autopilot. 
reliving the same day over and over. Not you. Why do you think I followed you on those missions? We thirst for adventure, and that is why we set out on these quests. And it's the pursuit, not the end, that quenches that, that thirst. For people like us, adventure is the treasure in life. And you, my friend, have had more than your fair share of treasure. Chasing a legend has saved you from a life of mediocrity. Sure, you're disappointed, and there are things you'd like to change. But chasing a legend should not be one of them. Honestly, honestly, tell me you regret this pursuit of yours, and it will never be mentioned again. Thanks, brother. For stating the obvious? For opening my eyes, allowing me to see where I've been blinded for so long. No regrets. You have got to be kidding me. Ron? Yeah. Hey, sorry for being late, but my truck wouldn't start. What? Yeah, it was really strange. It wouldn't start, then it just started like nothing was wrong. So, you were never here. There? What? No. <laughs> never mind. Come on. Beer's cold. Gas bar, you. Fair winds and following seas, old friend. <laughs>